Good afternoon, this is Jeff with Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at property address 3015 Northeast 7th Street here in Gresham. We're located inside the crawl space area, right up against the front foundation wall here. We have a three inch ABS clean out. We're gonna insert the camera and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. We currently have water running. We're gonna zero out right here just inside the clean out. And off we go. And based on where this line exits, I think you do have an exterior clean out out front. Um, we'll, we'll check on the way back in to see if we see one tying in. But it's up underneath, I believe it's underneath the front porch, right? I think the line goes out right underneath the front doorway. And if you ever had to do any drain cleaning, this would probably be the preferred area to do it from, rather than underneath that decking. The line right here looks like it bells out to four inch diameter pipe. And then now we transition into six inch concrete. connection at 74 feet we'll call it. And we're going to let the whole line drain out here for a few minutes before reeling back in. We'll have a much better view of the line as we come back and we'll go locate the terminus just to verify where the line travels to. I located the camera head successfully. The line terminates at the main out here on Northeast 7th Street. The line's all drained out now. We're going to start reeling the camera back in. And so the line comes out underneath the front door, and then it rides up. If you're looking at the front of the house from the street, right up the very right side edge of the driveway. We do have some standing water in the line here. And typically in Gresham, the, city, the street portion of the sewer line is city responsibility. Now this stuff here should be within the city's jurisdiction to actually do repairs on. I, I think it's highly unlikely that they would actually do a repair on that, that belly there. It's, for one thing, way the heck out from the house, and it's only got about three quarters of an inch of standing water in it. I, I, I don't even consider repairs on bellies until you've got an inch plus with a bunch of buildup on top of it. So anywhere from about three quarters to maybe one inch of standing water here. No buildup. It's not one I recommend to repair on. If you want to tell the city about it, by all means, go for it. But there, there's no buildup blockage evidence, and I wouldn't expect to see it. Backing up from that distance is extremely difficult. And you block up at 65 feet out from the house, you've got to fill up 65 feet of pipe at minimum before you're even back to the house. In doing so, the amount of water weight and head pressure pushing on that blockage shoves, shoves things right on through without you even realizing it's happened. So, and then another bit of standing water here. This is this is only about a quarter of an inch of standing water. Even less so. I'm just pushing back out here to measure it. But both of these bellies here are too minor, in my opinion, to, to require repairs. Especially the, considering the cost that would be incurred in doing so. It, you, I mean, you'd probably be, if you fix both these things, ten to $15,000 into repair. In my opinion, it would be a, a, a complete waste of money. And as long as you're not putting paper towels and tampons and grease and junk like that down your sewer line, you'll never even know that belly is there. And by and large, that is after, after doing this for 12 years and 20,000 scopes, what I have found is that even the significant bellies that have two, three, four inches of standing water in them. In most cases, when those back up, I have found that it's the, it, the homeowner has been putting either massive amounts of toilet paper down the toilet at one time, balling their toilet paper up, or putting things like paper towels in the sewer line. 
Those items have a much harder time getting through standing water because the standing water always slows things down a little bit. Toilet paper, though, breaks down on its own and moves on its way, where paper towels, they get saturated with water, they weigh a ton, and then they don't break down on their own. So it's difficult for them to travel through the sewer line. But the way that those bellies are positioned there, you'd have to pretty much redo that entire concrete section, and I, I think it's, it would be complete overkill to do that. But I'll write it out that you've got, there's actually another even smaller belly right here at the start. This one's only got about a sixteenth of an inch. I'm going to write it up that you've got three bellies throughout the concrete, ranging from a sixteenth of an inch to an inch. And all, all of it is, is too minor, in my opinion, too far from the house and not showing any signs of blockages or flow problems there. If that had blocked up even one time, you would have debris buildup scattered across the top of the sewer line going all the way back to the house, in which we have absolutely none of that going on here. Now, I, I say all this and put all this in the video in the event when you go to sell your home, you get some Yahoo home inspector trying to call every little tiny thing on planet Earth out. They just simply aren't required here. If you have a bad habit of putting a lot of crazy things down your sewer line, you might want to fix that. But at the end of the day, that is that is all because of what's gone down the sewer line blocking and, and not what not how the line functions. All right, we're going to go ahead and reel the camera out of the sewer line. We have good flow all the way out to the main lateral connection. Both the ABS and concrete portions of the sewer line we have scoped here today both appear to be in good condition and intact. The sewer line is functioning properly at this time. I've already gone over, again, the bellies in the concrete. They're all too minor, too expensive, and most importantly, aren't showing any signs of any past flow problems, and I really wouldn't expect to see that in, a belly, in bellies of those sizes there. Anyway, the sewer line is functioning properly at this time.